The Ancient Magic of Trees by Gregory Michael Burr. Burr. <laughs> Uh, identify and use trees in your spiritual and magical practice and so like for me this isn't just for somebody who practice practices a pagan um, spirituality or faith um, it does bring in references from like the Bible um, so for an anybody in like to me any faith could use this who has an interest in trees and their spiritual connection to it um to them um us and who want to bring that in so um you get a list of trees and a list of exercises so if you want to go to a specific tree or exercise you have that um section one um, deals with tree mythology and legend so um sacred symbolism in the bible um symbolism of trees across cultures so not just like the western view of them and then you get the sacred tree today um section two is field guide to trees um, section three, tree correspondences with various um, spiritual systems. So um, chapters five to eight in there. Um, section four, magic activities and craft. So um, chapters nine to 12 in there. Um, appendix, basic identification information and glossary and you get like a bibliography. So um, with the trees you get like Adler black, apple, cedar red, um, chestnut American Chinese, elder, elm American, elm English, um, and so on. And then the exercises, chapter 9, 10, and 11. So, um, the tree um sections like the um when you get to that they have pretty much the same kind of setup so um you get something like that so you get the name of the tree and you get some like you get bark leaf and seed kind of sketch imagery and then you get um other names like if they have other names um, number of species, family, genus slash species, leaf, bark, fruit, magical properties, and lore, physical uses, and medicinal properties. So, and like you don't get, um, you're getting kind of like brief kind of information, um, just about a page or just over. So, yeah, so you're getting pretty much the same kind of um, items for each tree. Um, and then for the quick guide to magical and medicinal properties of trees, um, so you get a word and then the list of like trees so courage alder aspen black gum a few others curse breaking a beaverite bamboo bondi blackthorn a few others and so on and then you get other notable trees that the um that the other hasn't put in like the others so you kind of get like a quick here's one here's the other setup And then um, in the basic identification, you get like these like images there. Um, so like you're getting that type of information, um, like specifically of like the tree, but like the other information you get 
like sacred symbolism of the trees in the Bible, um, like Bible verses, legends of the sacred tree, Native American, Nigerian mystery of the 12 trees, um, the Yule log, the cross, tying ribbons around trees. So section two of the field guide. So you're getting the base of um, what I just showed before. Um, section three it deals with like tree correspondences and with the various spiritual systems. Um, Celtic and Druid tree correspondences. So like the Celtic tree origam. Um, tree of life, astrological correspondences. And section four you're getting like um, tree touch communication, tree aura, um, wands, staffs, and, uh, making a magical wand type of thing. So if you want um, to have like a, like a more wide connection um, spiritually with a, for like either one specific tree or um, multiple trees, this book can be like to me really helpful because like it's not centering specifically on like the Celtic tree calendar. It's going to a bunch of trees across the the world. So yeah, uh, the ancient magic of trees. Happy readings.